Hi there, this is Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School. I'm back once more to show you some uh, cool little tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you one of the little techniques you can put into place with warping in Ableton Live. And uh, to demonstrate this, uh, I've got a pack of samples here uh, by Wide Range Electric called Lounge Vibes. And this is perfect if you want to make some kind of nice chilled out uh, beats or you're looking for some more relaxed uh, flavors for your for whatever type of music that you make um, this is a good place to look we've got vocal samples in here a whole low a whole wide range of vocal samples and um, drums uh, different tempos and these are all really good loops as well they're really well produced got a lovely stereo flavor on them lots of live instruments in these beats too but you can hear they're all quite sort of laid back and easy um, so a nice quality pack this. Um, we've also got this pack here which is quite useful, this little folder, drums and bass. And sometimes when you're working, you know, coming up with ideas for tracks, it's quite tricky to put a bass line down. So this is quite a good place to start. And as with all the loops and all the projects that I do, it's nice to kind of make them your own. So it might be a case of just chopping up the audio into different, slightly different arrangements. Um, but again, just a good place to start if you uh, want a solid rhythm section down on your track first. Um, I'm going to go into the keys folder here and uh, just pick up this piano loop here. And even though it's called Pop Slow Rock, when I load it into my set, I can play that again at any tempo. If I bring that up, so that's now playing at 120. Now, if we focus down here in the warping section, we've got different warp modes in Ableton Live uh, to dictate uh, to Ableton what that what type of audio it is that we we're, that we're dealing with here, what we're working with. So we've got beats, tones, texture, repitch, which is like a turntable pitch control and then complex modes, which are um, demand the highest uh, uh, amount of work from your computer, but give you the best sound quality. So if I, for instance, slow this right down, you can start to hear a kind of looping, slightly unnatural looping feel. In some cases though, this actually sounds pretty cool. And when you're working in beats mode, you know, experiment with different tempos and see what you can come up with. Uh, but if I put this in, for instance, uh, tones mode, we get a different feel. Same again in Complex Pro. And this is retaining as much of the loop's original sound as possible at this tempo. So I've slowed that right down to like 37 BPM. Let's bring it back up to 120. And uh, I'm gonna use a warping technique. Um, I'm actually gonna put it in beats mode and use uh, this section here, the preserve, to create a slightly kind of stuttered gating effect. I'm just gonna loop this little section of the loop uh, just by hitting Command L. And um, just bring the transient loop mode menu to play and stop. And now when I bring the transient amount down, what's happening here is that Ableton is breaking this audio up into sections, divided up by these little transient markers. You can just see just at the top of the audio there, you've got these little lines, they're called transients. That's Ableton picking up where something is happening, where a different note is being played, for example. And what I've done here with the transient loop mode is tell Live to play each of these samples within the loop and stop. But I've actually trimmed down the size of those samples from full length, which is up at 100, where the whole sample plays. I've trimmed it down, in this case, to in the 40s. So only a tiny section of the sample is going to play. So what we get is this slightly kind of decayed staccato effect. And if I turn the uh, preserve 
off from transients to sixteenths. Now we're getting each sixteenth note as a separate sample playing. So we can get some really nice effects with this. Let's go back to the beats. Let's find a beat. That's quite nice. And let's just tune this a little bit. Just see what we can get here. So I've just pitched these both down. I'm starting to get a slightly more kind of trip hop feel. Let's load in beat repeat on the piano. So there, a combination of things, the warping function with a, a customized, customized uh, preserve there, giving that staccato effect. And then I've just added beat repeat on here, just to slice and dice the piano into new patterns. Right, you can learn loads of cool little tricks like this, loads of cool stuff at uh, pointblankonline.net and I'll be back again next time to, uh, to show you more tricks with sounds and samples uh, from clickproduce.com and uh, the ever wonderful Ableton Live.